Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Here we are again. I'm very excited because I have a new recipe. Okay, I got the recipe on the back of this dented can of chili beans I bought yesterday. So I'm excited. It is sweet potato and chorizo chili. But I had a turkey burger left over and I wanted to use it. So I fried one side turkey burger and one side chorizo but basically I think this is pretty much of a vegetarian uh, meal and in my freezer I save my bacon grease so when you're using uh, you know real grease you don't need much I had maybe like a tablespoon so now I hope everyone is being safe I hope everyone is being careful I'm praying for you guys. Um, take a look at the uh, the comments, and if if someone needs some prayers, come on, you stupid candle. You know what? You get what you pay for. I need to go to the Himalaya shop. So, um, okay. So I'm having some. Um, grapefruit juice, and some uh, tonic water. This is pretty good. I like it. And it gives you uh, grapefruit juice. You have to be careful, though, if you're on certain medications. One of the followers mentioned. So I usually do about half and half. Uh-oh. And so both are natural sources of quinine which would be in malaria medicine, but you know, it can't hurt you and it tastes good. So, uh, okay, so I fried my um, chorizo and my hamburger and a little uh, bacon fat. You wanna save your bacon fat because you can use that in your, um, in your um, beans. It's good, uh, especially if you don't have any meat. Uh, a good thing to do is get some uh, vegetarian type meals under your belt in case there's not enough meat. So, okay, so now I'm gonna mix my, um, this turkey burger that I bought uh, from Walmart is really cheap. And then I grated some onions. And what's really, really good about this uh, recipe is it's everything in the stockpile. So if you're new to stockpiling, you know, you can kind of follow along and, you know, so it's not really that greasy. Uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, you, you can make this vegetarian. You can use um, soy meat in tighter. So let's see now, what did I do with that? I didn't take it out. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so uh, it was half a tube of chorizo, any kind. So I ended up making four things out of this and then it's my Walmart chub of um, what is this? A hair. Okay, so, you know, um, I can't find what I did with my Walmart um, chub of uh, turkey burger, but it's about a dollar sixty some sixty six cents for a pound. Okay, so now it calls for um, tomatoes and chili beans. So where this is getting cheap is notice I'm using my dented cans and we'll get into why I'm stockpiling. Why am I still stockpiling? The coast is clear, right? Maybe. So I have chili beans. You want to make sure your chorizo is done. Chorizo is horrible if it's raw, but then so is... Uh, I think the worst thing might be turkey, raw turkey burger. <laughs> That'd be bad. So it says undrained. 
And then uh, it calls for fire roasted tomatoes, but I just happen to have this um, this can of uh, petite cut tomatoes diced with sweet onions and garlic. I think it'd be good. So I love this when I find a new recipe. You guys know that. Nothing's worse than eating the same old thing every night. I mean, you know, if the same old thing is good, yeah, but once in a while it's nice to get a new recipe. If you want, you can grind your tomatoes up in the, um, in the um, blender. So it's looking good so far. It really is. Uh, I really, really like this brand of uh, chili. Chili beans. Uh, I discovered them by mar buying the Markdown. And then it calls for vegetable broth. So you can make it as thin or as thick as you want. I'm just going to pour some in there to flavor it up. So this is a pretty good looking chili. And then the directions say cook 25 minutes. So I bought, uh, I'm going to keep my eye out for um, vegetable broth. If I like this, I'm always looking for, uh, you know, for 99 cents, I'm always looking for, um, and then it calls for sweet potatoes, and I had sweet potatoes in my stockpile, so that is perfect. So you can see this is going to make a lot. I think I bought them at Walmart. Yummy, this is looking good, you guys. I said to my son, do you think it sounds good? And he said, yeah, I do. It sure does look good, I'll tell you that. Okay, so now, I'll put the cans up here so you can see what I have. I had uh, chili beans, sweet potatoes, um, tomatoes. I had um, vegetable broth. I had some... Um, some um, bacon fat. I had about a half a tube of chorizo. All right, where is that? Once it's in, ah, here we go. It is ground turkey from Walmart, if you want to add that. You could add that instead of chorizo if you don't have chorizo. Uh, you could add bacon. You could add anything you had could add sausage, as a matter of fact. So, here's the ingredients. Now, where is the recipe? Okay. One medium onion chopped. Yummy, this smells good already. I didn't put salt and pepper on. I'll put salt and pepper on when I uh, serve it. One medium onion chopped, one pound bulk chorizo, two medium sweet potatoes. I try to stockpile sweet potatoes, but what I'm doing now for the rest of the year is I'm pretty much eating my stockpile down. So if you're new to stockpile, you just start adding what I'm eating. Another thing, another really good way to do it, and this is a good way to do it, if you eat something, then you buy another one. So I would buy another can of chili beans. I would buy another can of, of, of sweet potatoes, another can. Well, what I do is I look for markdown of vegetables, fruit, and meat, and milk. Two uh, 15 ounce cans. Wow, if you use two 15 ounce cans of uh, chili, you would make a lot. Uh, one 14 um, ounce um, fire roasted tomatoes and one and a half cups uh, vegetable broth. Let me give you the actual recipe. I will put this on my Twitter. 
I put a lot of good stuff for you guys to see on my Twitter. I put comments. I read the comments because the followers leave awesome comments. Wow, I think mine looks better than theirs, you guys. Look at that. I'm going to show you mine even if I do spill it all over the kitchen floor like I usually do. Somebody asked me why my uh, videos were shorter, and I cracked up and I said, well, uh, some of you have, may have noticed that they're monopolizing uh, YouTube. You know, first it was all uh, the coronavirus, then it was all the um, protests. So um, I have been doing 10-minute uh, videos, and the 10-minute videos um, pick up the ads pretty good, if any of you have channels. There's no sense in making a 9 minute and 58 second video just make it all the way to 10. okay so now i did stockpiling i'm doing this daily stockpiling and the reason i'm doing the daily stockpiling is because i'm preparing for any kind of a disaster and i thought of two more fire and earthquake so today walmart had these lemon vinegar um dressings for one dollar so I bought two. I I make lemon chicken constantly, so that, that will be good. I just put it on the chicken with some pepper, yummy. And then uh, they had these um, Zesty Ranch salad dressings for a dollar. Um, you know that uh, Parmesan chicken I made the other night? That was so good. And I also make uh, cornflake chicken that's really, really good. So, um, for the Parmesan chicken, put a lot of garlic powder and pepper on your chicken, and then dip, well, dip your chicken in egg, and then put the garlic, salt, and pepper on your chicken, and coat it with breadcrumbs, and bake it in the oven at 350, and then when it's almost done, put a lot of Parmesan cheese. That is good, and that would be really good with this Zesty Ranch dressing. It's kind of like that Pioneer Woman dressing I bought that I really loved. And then the cornflake chicken, you mix one tablespoon honey uh, with, um, what was the other thing? The egg. And then you coat it in cornflakes. You just grind your cornflakes and you bake at 350, you know, use butter or oil. And that would be good with this. And I've been buying big boxes of cereal. Okay, so then what else did I buy? Oh, I got this 50% French fry um, seasoning. So that is like seasoned salt, but probably a little tastier. So I bought that today. And my uh, chili is looking very, very yummy. Mm. You guys got to try this. It's cheap, too. All right, I will try, you guys. For one thing, I'm not coming from the right. Can you guys see this? Okay. Well, it was a little, a little bit, but not as bad as usual. So, okay, so I'm doing the daily stockpiling, and so uh, I wanna get into what's going on that I think we should all know about. I mentioned several times that we wanted to watch China because China was a few months ahead of us and if we saw a second wave in China, then we could be pretty much assured that a second wave was coming here. Okay, so, Gravitas. It's a news channel, YN, capital W, capital I, capital O, capital N. You can go to my Twitter, Rotostone Twitter. Second wave of Wuhan virus in China. Let me show you. I will put this under comments so you can find it as well. Okay, now, what has happened in China? Okay, a second wave has hit Beijing or Wuhan, China. 79 cases were reported in, in um, 
a whole food market. And you go, well, 79 people, that's not much. Well, the only problem is in recent days, 46,000 have been in this market. I guess it was a huge market and it supplies 70% of the Beijing food. Not good, you guys. So that's how a few people can really start a second wave. It just depends where those people are. Okay, and so what happened, and of course China doesn't want to say it was contaminated work areas or contaminated, um, you know, um, meat packing. They said, well, what it was, was a contaminated surface caused by imported salmon, everyone's fault but theirs, uh, from Chile, Australia, Norway, and China. That is what started this Vi virus. Now, mind you, I think we pretty much determined that the virus is caused from person to person. But, so a second wave has hit China. Now, they tell us this after the protests, right? Okay, another bad thing is the stock market over there, I don't know about over here, is tanking. Also, oil prices are down 2%. And so, if you remember, about a month ago, it was reported that the Chinese people were hoarding food, rice in particular, because you probably know they're going to be sequestered in the house. They're going to be under lockdown again. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to us. Okay, if you don't have much money, go to the food bank, go to the uh, pantries, go to the welfare, go to the churches now before this second wave hits here. They're, they've been about three months ahead of us, but they're just now reporting and the, yet the people were hoarding the rice. Remember me mentioning the rice shortages? So that was one month ago. So today I bought 24 packages of um, toilet paper I found uh, gloves at Walgreens, and I'll be buying more masks. And anything I and anything and everything I can possibly think of that we have been out of, or if I should get trapped in the house. And if there is a second wave, uh, if we're smart, if we're smart, we want to stay inside for 14 days and see what happens. Unless you're just an optimistic person, I don't suggest that. All right, now let me try. See how fast this was to make because I used my stockpile? Mmm. This looks good. You could add more, um, more vegetable broth. I probably will when I reheat it. Okay, take a look at this stuff. very hard. I should have gotten a sh more shallow bowl. I hope you guys try this and I hope you stockpile tomatoes, sweet potatoes, chili beans, chicken and beef broth, uh, meat in your freezer, the cheapest meat you can find is a good idea. Why, why spend a lot right now? The main thing is stock up. Uh, could, could the stock market tank? Yes. Could we be trapped with no jobs? Yes. And no money? Well, what could be worse? Well, no food. That could be worse. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.